Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the 1987 Japanese exclusive train bot Getsui. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox this guy live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're then going to have a detailed look at him in all of his modes. So obviously we've got the alternate mode, the robot mode, and of course the combined mode. Um, this guy does have some what's known as combiner kibble, so we'll see where these bits attach on to Raiden. I'll point out some things you need to be aware of if you have to purchase one for yourself and we'll see how the train bots scale with some of the other combiners that were released at about the same time. Right then let's just slide all these over and I suppose I'll give you guys a bit of history for people who don't really know who or what this guy is. I'm sure a few of you have heard of him now because we're highly anticipating his masterpiece release but this combiner here his name is Raiden and the easiest way for me to describe it is if obviously in 1986 Sunbound they stopped making cartoons in regards to Transformers uh, after we'd had the Headmasters and the Rebirth etc. Well in Japan they pretty much completely ignored that themselves and they started their own run of cartoons known as the Headmasters and these guys were in it. That's the easiest way to describe it. So what we've got here, we've got these lovely little boxes. If you're wondering what the numbers are, the C stood for Cybertrons, which was Autobots. And this guy's reference number was 126. We've got some lovely artwork of him there. And the fact that obviously he transforms, that's not really a great picture of him transforming at the top. Um, but then if we spin it round, again, just to, I suppose prove what I was saying about the Headmasters, there is the Headmasters artwork that was of course very prominent on all of the 1987 Hasbro boxes. You've got Fortress Maximus, Scorponaut coming in there, and then the rest of the Horicons, Chrome Dome, etc. Um, yeah, as I say, they just pretty much continued with loads more cartoons and even a lot more after Headmasters as well. So let's have a look inside this package. This is pretty much complete, apart from a couple of teeny things, which I'll show you in a second. Um, we'll have a quick look at the instructions first. So the instructions, although mine is C126, what they actually do with these, they do universal instructions. So you've got all six train bots there, and then you've got the combined form of Raiden. And what they did was they just literally, as I say, made these universal, popped them in every single box, including the gift set as well. And I suppose it just made it slightly easier. It meant you might have probably used more paper at the time, but it was just easier. Right. So this is what I mean by sort of. So here is his gun. This is the long silver gun that comes with it. And then this is the only part that's sort of missing. They normally come with three train connector tabs, sorry, track connector tabs. Um, and one of them's come off. Uh, but that's them three there. We've got the backpack, I suppose, as it's known for, um, uh, what's it called, for Raiden himself. We've got the main bazooka or train bazooka cannon, which is the main gun for Raiden. And we've got the actual alternate mode here. So, of course, this has got a rub sign because it's 1987. You can see it there. And I just think that these a genius they're so so detailed for the time um they do actually fit on normal train tracks they will go round and round you've got the takara stamp there um the alternate mode is an ef65 1000 electronic locomotive and to be honest there's not much more to look at this when it's in this alternate mode but i'm sure you'll agree that it's it's so clever how they get this incredibly long thin train bot like this and what they end up doing is they get a robot like this guy. So I'm gonna do the transformation process on a separate video, and that's because I'm gonna be doing it very, very slowly. Um, you can see that these arms are all metal in there, so these can, of course, corrode quite easily, and they are very, very prone to breaking and popping out, hence why I'll do the transformation process really slowly. But the front panel here, which is the chest, if you're looking for a bit of articulation, I suppose you can say, that the arms will go backwards and forwards. That is mainly for transformation purposes. The legs, unfortunately, are fused together. They just slot up and down, again, due to transformation. But I don't think it makes a difference. I think these guys are genius. What you would normally do as well is you'd take the front of the train and you can see there's a tab there and this would rest on the back. And again, it just means, I don't know if it will on here because this isn't very straight. It might tip him over. Uh, but when it's on a flat surface, he would balance with that on the back. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. Let's just pop his gun 
in his hands then where's the small gun here it is so we're going to pop this in here and as i say when i've normally got this guy on display um, on a flat surface the back of the train just fits on there and it rests no problem whatsoever to be honest right so moving over to raiden himself quickly then so you can see that getsui here forms his right leg like so let's just slot him into place there there's his right leg can you make it out with the shine on the back yeah you can it's all blue down there and then if we spin him around at the back what we've got is there's two large tabs there on the back and there's two cutouts there or circle holes shall we say we can then attach these carefully to the back of this like so and that his is his backpack i just fold these in some people have them out i just fold it in to cover up what's uh, you can see at the back if i carefully spin him round he's now of course got the large blaster which is this and i'm just going to pop this this will fit in any hand so i'm going to try and do this without knocking them over and there you go so in comparison to some of the other combiners that came out literally the year before so of course we've got the scramble city bots this is definitely not a scramble city bot main reason of course you can't scramble all the limbs so let's in fact there's more space over here isn't there so as you can see he's pretty much the same size as a normal scramble city limb and if i just slide raiden over a little bit i've got bruticus here and i'm pretty sure that raiden he might just be a tiny bit taller um yep yeah, there he is he's just a fraction taller than uh bruticus so he's obviously quite a bit taller than menasaur um bruticus just looks bigger i think that's because he's closer to where the camera is if i put him back there you'll see yeah he is he's um oh no maybe pretty much about the same height bruticus just looks obviously thicker due to the fact that he's got some you know big thick limbs whereas raiden just has the train bots but there you go guys as i say this is mainly due to the fact that we are highly anticipating myself included the arrival of this guy in masterpiece form so i can't wait to see that um, hopefully this is giving you a bit of an education as to who he is um, again i can't i suppose recommend enough even though i'm being dead honest some of the dubs and some of them um, if you want to watch it with subtitles or whatever it's not the greatest but just give the japanese cartoons a chance because you will see some fantastic characters in them like this okay guys there you go hope you enjoyed looking at him hope it helped you with some of your queries keep your ideas and suggestions coming forward i do intend to get all of these done as soon as i can so we'll know who he is um and yeah thanks for watching take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe